Hello boys and girls, this video is going to focus on how to find elapsed time. We find elapsed time by using the strategy called time chunking. And what that means is that we're going to work with one hour at a time, ten minutes at a time, five minutes at a time, or one minute at a time until we get our answers from our problem. Let's say they give you a start time and you have 11.38 a.m. And they tell you that three hours and ten minutes have passed by. That's what elapsed time means. Um, so we put down what we started with, which is 11.38, and we're going to add the three hours and ten minutes chunks at a time. So we're going to start with one hour. If I add one hour to 11.38, and by the way, this is a.m., it's very important, I'm going to get 12.38. And because I have passed the 12 o'clock, it means it changes from one to another, so it goes from a.m. to p.m. So this is p.m., and now you make a connection between the two to help you remember what you've added or taken away from the time. This is one hour. Now I need to add two more hours. So one more hour after 12.38 would be 1.38. Make a connection. That's one hour. And one more hour would be 2.38. Make a connection. That's one more hour. So I'm done adding the three hours. Now I need to add 10 minutes. Luckily, this is one of our chunks, so we can just add the whole thing all at once, and this would give me 2.48. Remind yourself what you added, and there you have it. Our end time is going to be 2.48 p.m. Let's say they don't give you the start time, but they tell you how much time has passed by and at what time the event ended. We list first the event uh, ending time, which is 1.15 p.m. And now, instead of adding hours and minutes, we're going to take away 2 hours and 37 minutes, chunks at a time. So let's take away first 1 hour. If I take away 1 hour from 1.15 p.m., I'm going to end up with 12.15 p.m. Make the connection. That's 1 hour. If I take away another hour, I'm going to end up with 11.15. And, and this time, since we crossed over the 12 o'clock from p.m., and we're going backwards, this is going to change to a.m. Make your connection, one hour. We're done with this part. Now we need to take away 37 minutes. Let's do it 10 minutes chunks at a time. If I take 10 minutes away from this, I'm going to end up with 11.05. Five, make your connection, that's 10 minutes. Take away another 10 minutes, I'm going to end up with 10.55. There are 10 minutes, we still need to take away 10 more. Um, I'm going to end up with 10.45. Connect, 10 minutes. And uh, so I take away 30 minutes. I can't take away another set of 10, but I can take away 5, so I'm going to end up with 1040. Connect, 5 minutes, and now I need to take away 2 more minutes to get 37. I'm going to do it 1 minute at a time, so this will give me 1039. That's 1 minute, and then if I take the last minute away, I'll end up with 1038. 1 minute. This means that the start time for this problem is 10.38 a.m. Let's take a look at a problem now where we have our start time and our end time, but not the elapsed time. All we're going to do is write down our start time, and we're going to add chunks of time to our start time until we get to our end time. So this is 7.41 p.m., and now I'm going to ask myself, can I add one hour to this and not go past 8.50? No. So I'm going to add chunks of 10 minutes. So if I add 10 minutes to 7.41, I'll end up with 7.51. Connect. That's 10 minutes. Can I add another 10 minutes? Absolutely. So I'm going to end up with 8.01. Connect. That's 10 minutes. Now I'm going to add 10 more minutes because I'm still not at 8.50 at all yet, so 
11 will be my next one. Keep adding 10 minutes until you can't add 10 minutes anymore. This will give me 821, connect 10 minutes, 831, that's another chunk of 10 minutes, 841, another chunk of 10 minutes. And now I can't add 10 minutes because if I do, I'll end up at 851. And I don't want to do that, I want to end up at 850. So I'm going to add five minute chunks. So 841 plus five minutes is going to be 846. That's five minutes. Now, if I add another five minutes, I'm going to get 51 also. So I got to add one minute chunk at a time. So 846 plus one minute is going to be 847. That's one minute. 847 plus one minute is 848. Another minute. 848 plus one minute is 849. One more minute. And 849 plus one minute is my 850. Connect one minute. Now to find out how much time has passed, all we're going to do is add all this time over here that we added to our start time. So 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 60 minutes. That's one hour right there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine minutes. So one hour and nine minutes is how much time has passed by. One hour and nine minutes. Let's now take a look at a word problem. It says here, Samet and his friends went to a movie at 7.30 p.m. The movie ended at 9.55 p.m. How long was the movie? So we're trying to figure out how much time passed between 7.30 p.m. and 9.55 p.m. Let's go ahead and put our start time over here, 7.30 p.m. And we're going to add chunks of time to this until we get to the 9.55 ending time. So 7.30 p.m. plus one hour is going to be 8.30. That's one hour. 8.30 plus one hour is going to give me 9.30. One hour. And I can't add another hour because I'll end up at 10.30. We don't want that. Let's go to the next best thing, 10-minute chunk. I'll get 9.40 if I add 10 minutes to 9.30. Make your connection. Write down your reminder. Can I add 10 more minutes to this? Absolutely. I'll end up at 9.50. And I can't add 10 more minutes because I'll go past. I'll end up at actually 10 o'clock. And we don't want that. We want 9.55. So let's go ahead and add five minute chunks. And if I do, I'll end up at 9.55, which is what we wanted. Make your connection, five minutes. And now to find out how long the movie was, all we do is add up all the chunks of time that we um, have in the problem. So here we have one hour, two hours. 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 5 minutes will give me 25 minutes. So the elapsed time um, for this movie was 2 hours and 25 minutes. All right, boys and girls, that is how you find elapsed time. I hope you enjoyed the movie. Thanks for watching.